Oh my god, guys, I am kind of fangirling about this video right now. Gotta calm myself down. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a different video that I normally film on my channel. I am a makeup artist that has been working in the industry for about seven years now, and I specialize in natural bridal glam. I love enhancing the beauty that people naturally have. I'm all about that fresh, glowy, and dewy, healthy skin look. So um, you can all probably tell why I was so excited to do this video. I am doing a whole entire review video over a clean beauty makeup brand, and that is Merit Beauty. Merit was nice enough to send all these products to me, but by no means will that sway my opinion. I wanted to actually use them for the past week, so this isn't going to be a first impressions video. I wanted to make sure I 100% fully backed this brand before I recommended products to you guys. The reason that they did reach out to me me is because they actually just launched brand new lipsticks in their line. I wanted to showcase the lipsticks they just launched, but also the rest of the products as well from their line. Let me go ahead and go through their website really quickly because I wanted to kind of tell you a little bit more about the brand. As I said before, Merit is a completely clean beauty brand, which I absolutely love. They specialize in minimalist makeup. It says on their website that we take a holistic approach to clean. If we don't use hormone or endocrine disrupting ingredients, our products are EU and clean at Sephora compliant. We share detailed and ingredient lists on all product pages. We added skin loving ingredients into our formulas like plant-based squalene, vitamin B5, and antioxidants. We eliminated another 73 ingredients that are clean but potentially acne triggering like coconut oil. We are vegan, cruelty-free, and certified by Leaping Bunny. Then if you go ahead and purchase all of your products from Merit's actual website, you do get a signature makeup bag, which is this little duffel burlap bag sort of. It's made out of like a corduroy kind of material. I am pretty excited to dive right into this. Let me go ahead and grab my mirror and then I will get started. Okay, you are zoomed up a little bit closer and don't mind all the breakouts that I've been having on my face. I'm coming out of that time of the month right now, so hormonal female acne. First of all, Merit mainly just has face products and all their stuff is cream products so far. Just know that if you do have more oily skin, obviously working with cream products might make oils come through throughout the day. And then being that they are cream products, if you do want to add these to your makeup kit, if you are a fellow makeup artist, you're going to have to depot these. So scoop them out with a spatula, put them on a palette, you're not gonna be able to work out of the containers directly. Okay, let me go in with their foundation stick first. This is called the Minimalist Perfection Complexion Stick. It's not a foundation or a concealer, but it will replace both in your makeup bag. Okay, it looks like there is 20 different shades and then they retail for $38. It is this guy right here and it just is like a twist up, but the only reason why they made it this thin is because it's supposed to replace your concealer as well. So you can get really precisely underneath the eyes. The only gripe that I have with this, if you wanted to use it for your foundation all over, I feel like you would run through it very quickly and I feel like $38 is kind of steep for that. You can technically buy three different shades. You can buy like one for your foundation, one for your concealer, and then one for your bronzer, but then you're spending like three times the amount. Anyways, let me go ahead and actually start applying this. I'm just gonna start drawing lines. And also a miracle happened with this. I literally matched myself online without seeing colors in person or anything. And then I also forgot to mention, you can buy these products on Merit's website, but they actually are sold at Sephora as well. That's pretty much what the foundation looks like here. I think it looks really good. It makes your skin just look really healthy and really glowy. And I feel like it actually did a pretty good job at covering up that area right there that I was having issues with. And because of the fact that this is the only shade I have as of right now, I'm just gonna use it as a concealer. I'm just gonna take my finger and then blend it out. And this is probably the easiest way for me personally to kind of like do it really quickly. Then as I mentioned before, they don't have a bronzer in their line. I did end up purchasing another one of their stick foundations. I think it's about three shades darker than what I have for my foundation stick. Right now I have the shade sand on my face and then I picked up the shade sepia. Stick foundations from Merit will actually work for a bronzer shade. I have a warmer undertone naturally, but I feel like if you have like a cooler undertone, you might need to just like use your own cream bronzer. I am going in with the blush next. Okay, this is called the Flush Balm Cheek Color. It says a cream tint that melts into skin for lip firm within color that stays flush all day. And it comes in five different shades and then they retail for $28. Um, this is the pinkest shade that the line carries. I might have to apply a little bit more so you guys can see it. I just love though that all of their products don't disturb the makeup underneath it. It just kind of like sits on top, which obviously creams are supposed to do. But that's I think why I tried to stay away from cream products to begin with because number one, I have oily skin. Another thing is that I was always afraid of it just picking up my foundation or something underneath. That is 
what it looks like here. Okay, this thing is a highlighter stick. So it's called the Day Glow Highlighting Balm. It says made for daytime. This highlighter gives a dewy balmy sheen with zero sparkle. And it comes in two different shades. So this one's more like the lighter champagne sort of shade. And they also have a darker peachy kind of shade. It's so like creamy and so emollient. As a makeup artist, you probably would have to set this in place with something because otherwise it probably would move around. It does have zero sparkle. Like it just gives you more of that wet, like highlighted look. Like look at how stunning that is. I feel like if you're an editorial makeup artist, this would be stunning. Then the other thing that I have in my bag that I just forgot about, this one I'm probably not going to be able to try on though because it is a brow gel. As you guys know, I have my brows microbladed. <laughs> So you can't like see a color or a difference necessarily. This is the Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade. It says a nod to the brows of the 80s. This pomade adds color and volume for healthy fluffy arches. It comes in three different shades. So it comes in blonde, brown, and also like a soft black color and it retails for $24. I guess I can like technically put it on, but it's not gonna make much of a difference. Okay, then I want to go into the signature lipsticks that are their new addition to their line. So they've had lip oils before, but they've never had actual lipsticks. So they have eight different shades and they are hydrating buildable lipsticks with a soft satin finish. It's so lightweight, you'll forget you're wearing it. So this one is basically a combination of a brown and a pink. So that's how the color baby looks, at least on my skin tone. I have about a medium to tan skin tone. This one is just a brown sort of shade. And this is the shade Slip. I feel like it's such a pretty brown color. And then I ended up getting the shade Tiger. I really like this a lot. Look at this. It's kind of a burnt orange sort of color. Then this one that I got is Lavanu. I think that's how you pronounce it. It. This is a stunning shade of red. It's more of like a crimson sort of red. They're almost like a hybrid between a lipstick and a balm. The last one is their lip oil. It's called the Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. They have had this product ever since they launched their brand. So this was original to their line. It's a slick of sheer color infused with rose hip oil and shea butter for healthy lips all day. It does come in eight different shades and then it retails for $24. And I got mine in the shade Eau Naturale, like a pretty orange warm tone kind of color. And I got it in a deeper like red kind of shade. That is the shade Sangria. And the only complaint that I think I have, but I think they should have brought out one that's a little bit more pink or mauve for those that just like more pinky tones. All of them are super, super warm tone. All right, I just went ahead and switched back to the slip color because I overall just really like it. So anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoy this. Again, thank you so much to Merit Beauty for sending me all these products and collaborating. I feel like I honestly will be including them in my makeup kit and just buying like a whole new set of products for it. If you guys don't hardly wear makeup or if you just wanna have a really quick 15 minute makeup routine, this is literally it. If you guys have any questions or if you guys have tried these products before and really like the brand or if you don't like the brand <laughs> I guess just comment your thoughts and opinions down below and also if you guys did enjoy this please give me a big thumbs up as well as also hitting that subscribe button down below I do usually upload makeup artist related content tips vlogs etc but I might try to do more clean beauty brand product reviews that I might be putting in my makeup kit so if you guys are interested in that let me know as always I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I will talk to you guys in my next video all right bye